we talking What's about? up, True Feelings family? How you guys doing today? If you're new to my channel, my name is Crystal, and you know that I will so be So we stuck. got Tarion, Marcus, and India. And we're the yes, ex-family. Tarion is the wife. India is the fiancé. She ain't never going to be his wife. I don't even understand why she's the damn fiancé, but whatever. We're just going to move on. Now, Marcus... Marcus ain't nothing but big ass cheater. I just see him as a big ass cheater. That's kind of how it happens. <laughs> he is an elected official, you know. They smoke crack, steal money, and they cheat. I'm very passionate about the work that I do. I'm an elected official. Don't his head look too big for his body? And the reason I say that, him giving us their background story just says he ain't nothing but a cheater. When he met his wife before she was his wife, he met her in college by way of her roommate, who he was having an entanglement with, saw her picture, uh, tearing, wanted her ass, got her ass, took her virginity, and there you have it. Now they're in a relationship, they get married, and he starts cheating. I was not allowed to be juggling five to ten women. And he starts cheating with more than one woman. Because according to him, it was up to five or ten that she wouldn't allow. And he said that shit like he was almost kind of proud of it. When I want something, I'm going to try to get it. So during their breakup is when he meets India. But during this time with India, he starts getting back in a relationship with his ex-wife. I was like, that's that for real. Now his ex-wife wasn't really all for it at first. She was feeling some kind of way about the other woman because he done talked these motherfuckers in to being sister wives. Marcus brought up the idea of polygamy to me. It's never the woman's idea to do this shit. It's always the man's idea to take in a third party. And even trying the lifestyle at that point, but he was persistent. But they ended up getting along, so they just went with it. And now they all get along great. Now, I think it's going great. What about you? It is going great. <laughs> now, Taryn has a nine-year-old daughter with Marcus. India, I don't think she have any kids at all. But Taryn also has an older son. He didn't mention who the baby mama was. So I don't know where he came from. Maybe the baby mama don't want to be on TV. But he's raising his son and his son's friend. Now his son's friend is having the time of his life. Probably want to be like Marcus when he grow up. Like who wouldn't as a little boy? It's like okay your daddy got two broads and he still... He still get to go out and date and do other shit and just bring women to the house? That's a life. That is a life that that little boy probably won't. And he's probably loved just living over there at their damn house. So they call the kids in. Little girl, the son, and the friend. And they're telling the kids, dad is going to start, uh, he's going to bring in the, the new girl that he's going to be dating. I'm sorry, I can't remember her name. I'm going to go on a date with Bina. I know we've been talking about it. But I think I'm going to do that. Seems like everybody met her and they like her. So, but in that, they also said he's still going to be dating other women. And that is also dating other people as well. Like I said, his ass is out there just cheating, giving away free dick. And it just seems like that's what he want to do. I just don't see this turning out good for him. I just wouldn't deal with him with his little old short ass because it seemed like he just won't cheat. And I'm just curious at where in this process does the sex happen? So now their situation is they don't sleep together. They ain't doing that other bullshit like that other couple. They have alternate nights. It's every other night he sleep with one or the other. That's how that shit works. Now in order for them to bring in the new third chick, the two ladies have to be on board with it. The thing is, he ain't supposed to have sex with nobody unless the girls are feeling comfortable with the new chick. But it sounds like just from looking at the previews, he ain't going to give a shit about that and just want to put his penis in and try out all his products before bringing it home. And that's what it sounds like to me. I didn't marry you before I tested them waters. I didn't marry you before I tested them waters either. Now the chick that he met 11 years ago that they bringing in. Ben and I met... 13 years ago she gonna be a firecracker I can't wait till they bring her in because it look like she is not gonna be putting up with any of his bullshit any of it you or nobody else can't clip my wings I don't want to clip them so, you know what I mean I just want to possess them I can already tell I can already tell I'm not going to like Marcus. Marcus is an arrogant asshole and he think he is the king of his damn castle and he's running that shit. Daddy's home. 
I think he's the one who's paying for everything. I don't know if the girls work or not. They didn't say anything about any type of employment. So I just don't know. I think if he's the one that's putting in all the money, then he feel like he can make all the rules. That's the vibe I'm getting from Marcus. It's too soon. That's enough. That's the vibe I'm getting. And he done said a few little things that make me feel like that's the way he is. The idea is that I'm some deviant or I'm some, you know, something is wrong with me. He's an asshole and I'm not going to like him. I'm not. And like I said, the two chocolate bunnies, they gonna just be too good for him. Cause he ain't shit. He just like to cheat. Period. He just like put his penis wherever he wanna put it try out his product like I said. So I don't think I'm gonna be feeling him at all. But I can't wait till the new chick come in. I just can't wait till these um, episodes like maybe the third or fourth episode like when they bring the other people in that's when the shit is gonna get interesting right now it's just us trying to fill out the people trying to we, we got the history and shit but his history is bad history he and just to prove my point i went and looked his ass up since he is an elected official just like i said they cheat they scammers dang shit but he into some more shit this is probably the reason they ass moved to where they at they probably looking for his ass he might be in prison before this season is over a raid at your house this morning a raid uh, <laughs> the police came back i i wouldn't call it a raid okay but what i will call it is political prosecution that's taking place by the city of Euclid right now where they got a special prosecutor to do investigations in which they've never ever done before it has nothing to do with the after hours nightclub that you were at um I, I have no idea what you mean in regards to an after well, hours we've done nightclub. stories about you and your nightclub after hours nightclub you not my after hours nightclub I don't have an after hours nightclub. Woodland, or you're part of it no okay I was called there that evening to help folks who were there trying to shut the place down, who was, people were there renting a birthday party, but to say that it's my after hours spot, yeah, it's I'm not sorry, an after hours spot I, at all. I, I, that's what I thought, no. my, my bad. I understand, and- So this ask, is, getting back to what happened this morning. Yeah. Just, it's all political. I mean, I just explained it to you. If you have any other questions, I'm willing to answer whatever questions you have. I've always been available to the media and available to my residents. You guys, there is so much more to this story and to this family. It seems like TLC always get people that's on some fuck shit. Next thing you know, they ass is in prison. But look this shit up because it goes way deeper than that. I just didn't know how much I can put in. So look this shit up. He ain't going to be shit. He's not going to be shit. And I'm guaranteeing you guys, we are not going to like his ass. Because, you know, short people got little, little, little attitudes and they like to do shit because they small and shit. You, I ain't going to keep saying too much shit because I got short kids. Now, let's put all the shit talking aside. Guys pretty much know how I feel about him as a man and a husband and, and a fiance and everything he want to be. But I'm going to give credit where credit is due when it comes to this black man being a father to his children, especially to that little girl. I was a daddy's girl. I just love the fact, uh, I love the part of him giving his daughter a compliment on her hair. It's so important um, that fathers are there for their daughters to make their daughters strong, confident women. I really, really, really like your hair like this, baby. I like it. Okay, sorry, I just went squirrel because I'm tripping that there is a walker in the living room. Where is grandma at? Do they got her hidden in the closet while he hiding out? So I just found that to be touchy and it did. All the shit I said, that part just like, oh, I love to see that. Maybe it was just me missing my father. But I'm going to give him credit for taking care of his kids. And he done took on somebody else's kid. So he a good man somewhere in there when it comes to being a daddy. I'm committed. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, you guys, tell me what you think of Marcus' ass, because I don't think much of Marcus. It's not much to tell this yet, but I don't think much of Marcus' ass. I really don't. Um, I'll see y'all with something else. Don't be an asshole.